And our in-depth coverage of the Democratic congressional debate is continuing. Live in our studio this morning, our 12 News political analyst, Joe Fleming. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. All right, uh, four candidates last night. Everyone right. trying to stand out. Who do you think made the biggest impression? I don't think any of them really stood out last oh, night. Oh, okay. I think they all basically st stayed with their script. Uh, they tried to distinguish themselves somewhat, but no major standouts in that can in that debate last night, which is not good for the, in this race because Step Magazine, based on polling, has a larger lead. The other three candidates really need to move with itself forward. I don't think any of them did that last night. All right, so even though Seth Magazine are still maintaining the lead with two weeks to go before the primary, our poll a short time ago showed that, you know, he had the lead, but still 37% right. of people are undecided. That's a huge portion the, of people here, Danielle, you're absolutely correct. That's why the other candidates last night, I think, were trying to come across to the voters who are undecided mm -hmm. to try to move them. But they also have to move some voters away from Seth Magazina, because if he picks up a couple more points in a five-way race, he's yeah. in very good shape. I'm not sure how effective they were last night. They, were, they agreed on most issues. They disagreed on a few of the issues, but nothing major. And one big criticism for Magazina last night, Joe, is that he's not from the 2nd Congressional District. Some of his opponents brought that up. Do you think that is a big deal for voters? Well, I don't think it's a big deal because remember, Bob Wagan wasn't from the 2nd District when he ran for Congress in District 2 and moved in and he won that seat. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the other candidates have to really push that on the voters and explain to them more that Seth Magazine has not lived in the 2nd District. I don't know if they've done that well enough in this campaign so far. All right, you did mention the candidates did agree on a lot. We were not right. surprised by that. One thing, though, that was interesting to watch was their perspective on student loan forgiveness. Right. Not really surprising, though, that they had differing plans, given that the general public has a lot of differing it, opinions it, on this, too. Exactly. And I think that's right where you saw Seth Magazine move towards the middle, because mm -hmm. I think he's really believing now he's going to win the primary, and he believes that he has to be more in the middle if he's going to run against Alan Fung, where he's talking about not forgiving the loans, but having lower interest rates on the loans, where the other candidates basically said, yes, we should forgive them, we should go even farther. So he was different there. He also was a little bit different on the Supreme Court, where he does not want to expand the Supreme Court. Speaking of Alan Fung, the Republican candidate, probably sitting at home last night watching, hearing right. his name come up quite a bit. Yep. So uh, is that a benefit for uh, Democrats to focus on Fung right now? I'm sure he likes it. Right. I think they want to focus on him. They didn't focus on him too much last night. He was, his name was mentioned a number of times during the debate. But the candidates last night, I don't think they also want to be very careful. They didn't attack each other too much, where Alan Fung can use that against them in the general election. So I think Alan Fung was in this debate all the time last night. But the candidates were being very careful on how they dealt with Alan Fung last night. Yeah, he did release his first campaign ad yesterday, right. so it's out there circulating on the airwaves right now. I mean, does he really benefit from the next two weeks with candidates if they don't duke it out at all? I mean, what, what do you well, think he, about that? He would like to see them duking it out. There's yeah. no question about that. <laughs> but he has his ad out there right now for the simple reason. He doesn't want to become irrelevant right now. He mm -hmm. wants to keep his name out there, keep people thinking about him as an alternative to the Democrats that are out there. All right, Joe, thanks again for coming in with us bright and early. And if you missed last night's debate, you can watch the entire thing anytime on our website, WPRI.com.